presented by Huawei, Mate 9. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Nick Pino, and I'm here with Jack McCulley, inventor, engineer, and co-founder at Oculus. Jack, thanks for joining us. Thank you. My yeah. pleasure. So Jack, what are some of your earliest memories of Oculus? Well, uh, my earliest memory is getting a call from uh, my former uh, IP uh, attorney at Activision saying, Brendan Rebe, Trexler slash Trexler, wants to meet you. And, and I said, OK, when's he coming? He goes, he's got something to show you. He shows up at my facility. I have a R&D facility that I operate and run with a thing in his hand. I looked at it and I go, oh, no. Oh, no. But then I put it on and he sat, got sat down on his MacBook Pro and got it all hooked up and handed it to him. I said, wow, that's really, really good, really profound. That's my earliest memory. So what did it look like at that stage? It, it was basically the foam core uh, board prototype that uh, Carmack had at uh, CES. I think it was in 2012, early 2012, something like that. And that's what it looked like. It was all tape, duct taped together. Palmer made it himself out of foam core board stuff. He probably bought it at an art store or something, but that's what it looked like. It's a far cry from today. So Oculus just came out with the touch controllers, yeah. and, and that, I think, helped uh, immensely adding into the immersiveness of the product. What does Oculus need to do to improve from here? I think it's, it's heavy and it's costly. They need to reduce the cost of it. And if it means sacrificing a few uh, features, uh, which are incremental improvements, then that's what they need to do. Um, although I don't work there anymore, I, I, that's kind of where I am. The interesting thing about it is that uh, the thing that's sold, they, they announced their sales figures on Wednesday, they sold five million Gear VR. It's very impressive, and that's a smash hit in the game world. That's a knocking it out of the park, and they did. So it's kind of looking like it's mobile that's selling. The PC side, it's too expensive. You know, for a lot of people, it's out of their budget. And, uh, and the, people, the demographic they're selling into are people that don't have a lot of money generally. And they're just starting out in their career, or they're you know, working in, at their first job, maybe. So uh, getting the cost and the weight down and simplifying it probably is where they need to be. But it's looking like mobile's the one that moved the best. And it's a really spectacular sales figure. They've done a great job on it. Sweet. So where do you see virtual reality going in 2017? What's the next big step for VR? Well. You know, this is an incremental process. It takes years to develop a new technology, and it may take 10 years, and you have to be patient. And VR is not going away. It's not one of these flash in the pan things, I don't feel. Based on their sales figures, that's a really, really good sales number. And based on that, I think it's here to stay. You're asking me what it'll be. It's probably going to be two camps. One is a PC game or a console gaming side, and then a mobile side. The mobile side can't deliver perhaps can't deliver the uh, amount of time you spend, a user spends on it. You know, it's kind of, you put your phone in there and you watch your little video or you watch your movie or whatever it is, and you take it off, put your phone in your pocket. It, it doesn't get the kind of time play people want. But based on what's sold, and that is the, the thing that you can, you can tell the best of what's going to work, it's mobile. And uh, that's probably where it's going to be. There will always be a PC side, but they need to get the cost out of it. Both, all three platforms, the PS4, Oculus and HTC need to get cost out of it. And uh, if it means that it doesn't work quite as well, that's probably acceptable for a lot of people. Maybe the display needs to be a cheaper display. And uh, it needs to be half the price it is. It's not a bad price point, 600 bucks for what you get. And the engineering that went into it, the Rift is a beautiful piece of hardware. It's really nice and well built um, and, and well designed and well engineered. It's just, unfortunately, it's too expensive and, and probably a little bit too heavy for most people. Makes sense. Jack McCulley, thank you so much for your opinions and your predictions on the future here. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Presented by Huawei, Mate 9.